In this video, we're going to look at two-digit two digit subtraction from left to right. And the goal, I think, at first is to say, well, why would you do this? But really, I, I hope you try this. It gives you a really great number sense. What I mean by that is, well, it allows us to really estimate these numbers and visualize them mentally. So there are two approaches to this. It depends on the problem. But with left to right subtraction, one approach is to say, oh, well, what is 84 minus 20? To subtract that first. Take the full first number and then subtract 20 from it, and then subtract three more. And this is nice because it's very easy to visualize mentally, right? 84 minus 20 is just 64. And then take three more away and get 61. Another way to think about it is to subtract 20 from 80, and that gives you 60 and then to subtract 3 from 4, and that gives you 1. So what do we do now? Well, we add these combinations to get our answer of 61, and that's maybe the only awkward step right there. But if you think about what you're doing, you're saying 80 minus 20, and then you're subtracting 3 from 4. We'll add these two together to find the total difference between both numbers. Right, that's what this process is really about. And that might seem a little awkward at first, but I think you get the hang of it. And this has some major advantages. Again, with number sense, so let's try let's try a couple more. What if I tried 43 minus 21? Well, one way to visualize this is to think of 43 minus 20. And that is what? Well, that's just 23. And then to take right one more because we're breaking up 21 into 20 and 1 and that gives us 22 and the way I wrote this before was just to write 43 minus 20 minus 1 right we're breaking up 20 into two parts and that's the same thing right 43 minus 20 is 23 take one more away to get 22 now from left to right addition here we take 40 and 20 and we subtract 20 from 40 to get 20 and then we subtract 1 from 3 to get 2, and our answer is 22. We'll try one more. What if I had something a little bit tougher? What about 99 minus 77? Well, even with a problem like this, I think it's fairly easy to say, what's 99 minus 70? And then take that and take 7 more away, right? Because we're trying to take 70 and 7 away and we're breaking up 77 into these two groups. So, so what do we do now? Well, 99 minus 70 is 29. Take 7 more away, and we get our answer, which is 22. Here, we can think of 90 minus 70 as 20, and then 9 minus 7 as 2, and that gives us our answer of 22. So in the next couple of videos, we'll, we might talk a little bit more about this, but really, uh, I want to show you some other great rounding up or down tricks with subtraction. All right, thanks.